Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics. Uh, in this video, we're basically going to profile players that are considered by many people to be busts, uh, players that didn't live up to expectations, and essentially players that were drafted very high in the NFL Draft that didn't go on to you know, meet those expectations. Uh, and uh, if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So starting with the player we're going to profile today in Aaron Maben, the defensive end slash edge rusher from Penn State, who the Bills drafted really, really high. Uh, he wasn't a top 10 selection, but he definitely was pretty darn close. Uh, so first off, uh, the biggest, uh, I wouldn't say misconception about Aaron Maben is that he was productive. Um, he had a 73.94 solo tackle score, 92.04 sack score, and a 96.17 tackle for loss score. When you just look at his production data, he definitely has Pro Bowl uh, production traits. You know, he has traits indicative of a, of a Pro Bowl player in many ways, um, and very, very good sack and TFL totals. But the issue that Aaron Maven has is in athleticism testing. He had an 80.83 explosive lower body strength score, but only a 39.65 speed score and only a 23.64 flexibility score. Uh, in many ways, he did not have all pro or pro bowl potential athleticism in terms of his speed and in terms of his flexibility testing. He definitely had starter potential. Um, so the fact that Aaron Maybin didn't go on to become a long-term starter is definitely uh, something to uh, kind of dig into a little bit more. But the bottom line is, when you look at Aaron Maven's athleticism traits, it makes it very, very apparent and very, very clear that he probably should never have been the top 11 overall player drafted. Because um, again, when, when you're talking about drafting players that high, you want to make sure that they have the traits indicative of an all-pro and pro-bowl player, not only in terms of their production, but also in terms of their athleticism traits. And I think when it comes to Aaron Maven, you can clearly see the disconnect here. Um, the reason why players bust is sometimes they just don't meet all the boxes. They don't check all the boxes. You know, people talk about checking all the boxes all the time, but they don't even know what the boxes are in some cases. And I think in Aaron Maben's case, in, in Aaron Maben's case, he's a guy that just simply didn't check all the boxes. Now, there definitely are some other things to him. Character stuff definitely has been thrown out about him and all that other kind of stuff. But I think it's too easy to just throw a character label on a guy without looking at the big picture. You know, a lot of times people say a guy is cocky and that's why he failed, or he didn't take the NFL seriously, or all these other sort of things. When in reality, every player is cocky. Every player has some kind of arrogance to him. And unless you have the ability to back that arrogance up, that's what separates you in some cases. So there's no denying that Aaron Maven probably has some character stuff as well that might have hurt his overall ability. And maybe he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed when it comes to the playbook and all these other sort of things, which contributed to things. But it doesn't help to not be the sharpest tool in the shed with the playbook when you don't have the athleticism traits to overcome some of those limitations. So in many ways, I just think that Aaron Maven is, there's definitely other reasons why he failed or why he busted, but you should never take a player top 11 overall who doesn't have all pro and pro bowl level athleticism traits that it just shouldn't happen so i think in many ways when it comes there and maybe you just have to realize that this is a player that had good production but didn't quite have the athleticism traits necessary for all pro slash pro bowl potential and ultimately did not live up to expectations due to those reasons and other factors that i kind of talked a little bit about that are not as easily confirmed if you will um, based on the data and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And uh, if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.